Hey guys and welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's After Effects tutorial video, we are going to see that how can we create a glow movement tracker effect in Adobe After Effects. Now this is the effect that you must have seen in some of the music videos. So this is the basic effect that is gaining popularity nowadays. So before taking much of your time, uh, let's see that what we are going to create today. So this was the glow movement tracker effect that we are going to create today and uh, you can see that it looks pretty appealing to the eyes and it is very popular effect nowadays. All you got to do is uh, come to your Adobe After Effects, then press Ctrl N to create a new composition. Now you can name it anything that you want. I'm naming it glow motion tracker. Here you can keep a frame rate of 30 frames per second and the duration I am going to keep of 15 seconds but this totally depends on the video that you are going to use for your composition and press OK. The video that I used in my sample animation is uh, this one and it is around 12 to 13 seconds long so that's why I have kept a duration of 15 seconds and I will share the download link of this particular video in the description. So if you want, you can use the same video or if you want, you can just take up any video of your choice. But make sure to change your resolution to a quarter for a smooth rendering. Uh, now what we are going to do is uh, just mark the places where our glow is going to occur. So for that, what we are going to do is just go to a layer and double click on it. Now, as soon as you do that, you can just adjust uh, the panels and you will see that your layer has been opened just like this. And this is exactly what we need now. Now, you can just adjust your uh, work area a little bit. Now, the next thing that we are going to do is go to window. Here you will find an option called brushes. So, just click on it. And as you do that, you will see that a brushes panel has been opened. Uh, also, uh, what you're going to do is go to window again and select on this paint option as well. So brushes and paint is what we want to add as of now to make those uh, glow effects in our video. Next thing, go to the toolbar and grab on this brush tool. Now this is the first time that uh, I'm using this brush tool in front of you all. So make sure to look very closely to it because there are some of these things that you need to understand well before using the brush tool. First of all go to brushes and just select a brush of your uh, choice, brush size of your choice. Okay now as far as the specifications is concerned I have kept a diameter of 25 pixels. And uh, the rest of the values are like this. So if you want, you can just copy all of these values in your animation as the same. The next thing is go to this paint tab and choose the paint uh, that you wish in your uh, video. And make sure to be it to be a neon paint uh, so that for a good effect, it can be visible in your video as my video has a dark background so what i'm going to do is use a lighter color and this is from the family of the neon colors with this hexadecimal value then press ok now just change this duration to a single frame now uh, what we are going to do is just make some stray marks like i'm going to track this hand movement then move on to the very next frame. For that, you can just go to your preview tab and here you will find an option of moving to the next frame like this. And just trace it uh, like this, incrementing it at every frame. And this is exactly that we want to do. Uh, we have to make some of the marks at every frame. And this is what is the significance of our uh, single frame duration that it enables us to mark the brush strokes on our video that only last for a single frame of time. Now if you want uh, you can just animate these uh, frame by frame till up to the last frame which is obviously going to be a very tedious job so what I'm going to do is just make some of these arrangements and then I'm going to skip it for some of the 
uh, for a few seconds like this and uh, don't worry if your uh, shape is not as precise as you want because it is only an effect that's going to last for a frame and here we are using a frame rate of 30 frames per second that is around 30 frames would be there in a total second uh, in a second so that's what it's going to be looking like it's very subtle effect now here since my background has been changed to a red color but still this uh, color will be going perfectly with it so i'm just going with this color or if you want you can just change your color as well as as of now uh, what i'm going to do is just choose this yellow color and Instead of this hand, what I'm going to do is make some other marks like this over here and just move on to the next frame. And here I'm going to make a crown shape on top of this phone. So all of these shapes are uh, totally up to you. So it's your choice. You have to select that uh, what you want to just show to the audience and if you want you can just change the colors of your uh, brush and make more than one ink mark in a single frame just like this uh, as of now here i'm going to make three ink marks Now I'm going to change my color to a blue and I'm going to trace this hand with a blue mark. Then I'm going to change my color to a shade of yellow and making this mark over here with a shade of yellow and over here I'm going to take this pink and I'm going to trace this hand with a shade of pink. Okay, that is not visible. So what I'm going to do is just change its color uh, to a shade of dark blue like this and trace it around here, this hand. And this is exactly that you have to do in all, uh, in the whole duration of your video. Over here with this blue color, what I'm going to do is just make a crown shape again. Then move to the very next frame and pick up some other color like um, this light blue color that I really liked. And it goes with the video contrast as well. You can just draw any shape of your choice. You can play with the shapes as much as you want. And this is the freedom that we get over here. Okay, so this is uh, what I have uh, animated in my portion. Now, once you are satisfied with your uh, strokes, you can just close your paint and the brushes tab and as well as your uh, video tab as well. Next, what I'm going to do is just uh, move on to my main composition and open this video. Here you will find effects and in this effect, you will find this paint. So you have to just uh, click on this paint go to edit and click copy then uh, create a new solid layer and name it as glow now just uh, expand this glow layer and paste these effects in this glow so if we just uh, take a view at our effects then all these effects are present over here all right now what we are going to do is uh, go to effects and presets and search for an effect which is the same as uh, our layer name that is glow and apply it onto our glow layer and then what we are going to do is just uh, change the glow threshold amount to a 20 and increase this glow radius to around 53 and also increase this glow intensity 
to around 1.5 then again apply a glow effect on this uh, glow layer this will be glow 2 now here just uh, decrease the glow intensity to around 0.4 okay now so this is uh, the kind of the glow effects that we have got now what you can do is just uh, go to this mode tab and change the mode of your solid glow layer that we have created to a screen and now you can see that in your final video all these uh, effects have been merged very easily and uh, if you want to see a final preview what you can do is just change its resolution to a full then go to file export and add to render queue now you can just render this video and once it is rendered you can just view the final output in front of your eyes and you can also notice that while rendering it is just showing this final output and it looks pretty cool to look at so that is all in today's after effects tutorial and i hope you all have enjoyed this 